up everybody welcome back let's follow it together the other evening my wife and I watched this show on Netflix it was a, about a, a man who swindled a lot of money from a lot of different women you know throughout the world and it was pretty twisted and messed up story and uh, part way through the story um, it showed this guy and you just see in his eyes, you know, he he was living in what the world would call a lap of luxury. You know, he had money, um, all designer clothes, had, you know, these exotic cars, and all these beautiful women. Stayed in, you know, the most expensive places, ate the best food. You know, he had everything that the world could offer, but he just looked dead in his eyes you know he had a a mask on of, of kindness and trustworthiness but inside he was he was dead you know and I, and I recognize this because well in a way that was me you know I, I may not have done some of that stuff I definitely wasn't a millionaire driving Ferraris or Lamborghinis you know but before Jesus saved me, I was lost in sin. I was a heroin addict, and I was I was doing the same thing, just uh, in, in a smaller scale, so to speak. I was I was living wrong, and I was using people, you know, to get what I thought I needed to live. But really, I was I was dead, lost, and broken inside. And it wasn't until I uh, finally. You know, heeded the call of Christ in my life, you know, to come to him. And I thank God that he never gave up, that he just kept giving me grace, grace upon grace, you know, time and time again. And I'm not excusing all the, you know, the wrong stuff, the way, you know, I used to live or, or the guy I was living in this, you know. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. See, no matter how far you've gone down the wrong scale, just like that guy, you might be dead in your eyes, but in Christ we can live. We have a living hope, you know, our redemption. That's that's what my, my heart was open to, was this hope that the old me didn't have to be the new me. And I knew it wasn't by my own strength and my own power that broke those chains of hell that had bound me. It was Jesus when he showed up in my life and he showed up in a powerful way and, and transformed me from the inside out and, and still working on me. So I looked to him you know, for hope, for life, for forgiveness. He paid it all on the cross. That's why we can come to him and have a, a clean slate and things can be new. Um, I don't have my Bible on me, but you know, this is prophesied in Jeremiah 31. He talks about writing his laws on our hearts. And Ezekiel 36 says he'll give us an, a new heart. He'll remove the heart of stone and give us a heart of flesh. And give us a spirit. You know, it, it was prophesied and then it was fulfilled after the resurrection of Jesus in, in the book of Acts that's recorded. You know, in Acts 1, Jesus said, hang out in Jerusalem, then I, I will give you the promised Holy Spirit. And that's exactly what happened in Acts 2. And it's because of this new covenant made by the blood of Jesus that we can accept this gift of life in the Spirit. You know, as Jesus said in the John 3, you must be born again. It's born of the Spirit, born from above. It's a gift of God. None, none of us can, you know, boast in our own, you know, greatness that we arrive there by, by doing a bunch of great things. No, you're saved to do great things, but it's by the grace of God. When you said yes to Jesus, that's Him being your, your Lord and your Savior, your Deliverer and your Redeemer. He can make uh, old things new. He can make dead men alive. He can make deaf men hear, blind men see, and lame men walk. And he's a God who does miraculous things. So I pray that you would uh, look to him and find life in him. Heed, heed his call. Don't, 
walk away with a you know harder, stubborn heart. God is gracious. He is a good God, and I believe He loves you. That's why He gave His Son for you. So even while you were dead in trespasses and sin, you could be alive with Him in Christ. Be blessed.